Hi, this video tutorial I will cover the difference between method overloading and method overriding. Method overloading is performed within a class. Method overriding occurs in two classes that have a ISA relationship. In case of method overloading, parameter must be different. In case of method overriding, parameter must be same. Method overloading is the example of uh, compile time polymorphism. Method overriding is the example of uh, runtime polymorphism. Method overloading is uh, used to increase the readability of the program. Method overriding is used to provide the specific implementation of the method that is already provided by its superclass. Access specifier can be changed uh, in method overloading. Access specifier must not be more restrictive than original method in case of uh, method overriding. It can be less restrictive. Static methods can be overloaded, which means a class can have more than one static method of same name. Static methods cannot be overridden. Even if you declare a same static method in child class, it has nothing to do with the same method of uh, parent class. Private and final methods can be overloaded. Private and final methods cannot be overridden. Return type of method does not matter in case of uh, method overloading. It can be same or different. Return type must be same or covariant in uh, method overriding. Overloading is a compile time concept. Overriding is a runtime concept. Static binding happens when method overloaded. Dynamic binding happens when method overriding. Method overloading performance is better than uh, method overriding. In case of performance, method overloading gives uh, better performance when compared to the method overriding because uh, binding of overridden methods is being done at runtime. Method overriding performance is not better than method overloading. Method overloading add or extend more to the method functionality. Method overriding is to change the existing functionality of the method. Here you can see the example of uh, method overriding. Here I have declared the class animal. It has a eat method. Here I have declared the class uh, lion which extends uh, animal class and override the eat method and provide a new implementation. Here I have declared the class uh, method overriding example. It has a main method. Here I have put one breakpoint. Here I have put one breakpoint. And uh, here also I have put one breakpoint. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here uh, animal reference points to line object. And uh, using animal reference, I am calling uh, eat method. And it will call uh, eat method of uh, line object. And it will print uh, line is eating meat. Here you can see the example of uh, method overloading. Here you can see add method which accept uh, two parameters. Here you can see add method which accept uh, three parameters. And uh, here you can see main method. Here I have put one breakpoint. Here I have put one breakpoint. And uh, here also I have put one breakpoint. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here I am creating a overloading example object. And uh, first I am calling a add method which accept uh, two parameters. Here you can see the output. Next I am calling a add method which accept uh, three parameters. Here you can see the output. And uh, this is about uh, the difference between method overloading and method overriding. And uh, thanks for watching.